There's been a lot of new reveals since the embargo lifted on early first impressions for Marvel Spider-Man 2. Many gaming news outlets and content creators have released videos and articles on different story beats or open world side quests that they got to experience. We've got interviews and in-depth talks with developers at Insomniac. And what is probably most important of all, we've got an incredibly massive amount of details on the new gameplay mechanics that we can expect to see once the game releases on October 20th. Initially, when the news dropped after the early access preview event, it looked like there were some updates to the gameplay specifically related relating to traversal that were missed or maybe not necessarily available to use in the demo build that people were able to get their hands on. After taking a little more time and piecing together all the information we have from different sources, I've got over 12 new traversal upgrades that we can expect to see in Marvel Spider-Man 2. There's things we asked for and things we didn't even know we needed, and I think you're gonna be smiling as hard as I am once you hear them. So if you're ready to get hyped for all the ways you can use New York City as your personal playground and look fly while doing it, scroll down and hit the like button. It'd be very much appreciated. And now let's jump in and go over everything we know so far. Now to start off, I'm sure majority of people's favorite part of this game is going to be the web wings. They're probably the most game changing addition to the traversal mechanics in Marvel Spider-Man 2. But what you maybe didn't know was that they can do much more than provide you simple short bursts of gliding. For instance, with the use of wind tunnels and building ventilation, it seems that it could be quite possible to fly completely across the city of Manhattan from one end to the other. There are even side quests against Kraven's bird drones that rely entirely on using the web wings combined with the dodge mechanics in order to stop them. You will also be able to catch momentum and airtime by dive bombing then pulling back up similar to the Batman Arkham games. And finally, an entirely brand new traversal ability is made possible completely thanks to the web wings by allowing the player to glide over water. Revealed by Aaron Jason Espinosa, when you glide down low above a body of water, our Spider-Man will perform a skating maneuver on top of it. From there, the player can jump back up to start a new web swing or continue gliding with their web wings. Otherwise, you lose momentum and you just sink eventually into the water and come to a complete stop. He provided the visual example to show how it is very similar to one of Insomniac's past titles, Sunset Overdrive, which gets a lot of high praises for its traversal capabilities. Crazy to think that a game released almost 10 years ago has been so heavily praised for its traversal mechanics that they were able to repurpose the concept for a Spider-Man game. All right, everyone, we're just getting started. So if you're loving everything you're getting in this video and you want to be here for more Marvel Spider-Man 2 content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and join the fridge fam. Up next, we're going to get into the swinging. Of course, we've got loads of new swinging animations for both Peter and Miles. Most of us figured that that would be the case, but it's nice to have been confirmed by the newly released gameplay footage and by those who were able to play the game early. But an entirely new addition and one that was well sought after by Spidey fans is the ability to perform loop de loops while swinging. This was asked by Allfather Media on Twitter after he stated he saw a video of someone who got to play describing having done it in the game. And again, Aaron was the one to confirm, indeed, you can loop de loop while diving and executing a swing swing just don't let go so by performing the dive bomb with your web wings in combination with your web swinging we will have another option of how to build momentum and speed in a way that is so iconic to spider-man as a character all father media had also mentioned whipping around corners while swinging which aaron continued on confirming you can also do a corner tether to make immediate quick turns so a hard left or right and also explain what controls will actually execute the corner tether it looks like while swinging slash gliding near a grappable surface we'll get some type of prompt or icon and we would just press circle and move the left stick to the left or to the right. Now these two features for the swing are something I believe will make players feel more like Spider-Man than ever before. I do also want to note that I believe that both of these would be skills that you have to actually unlock in order to use as you progress through the game. In general, the overall swing speed has been increased about 1.5 to 2 times faster in comparison to the previous Spider-Man titles, and combining regular swinging with the corner tethers, loop-de-loops, and the web wings we're gonna be moving around New York faster than ever before. But speaking of moving across the city quickly, we've also got the slingshot, which at first, people were saying could only be done at specific points like we saw in that first PlayStation showcase. But it's actually been debunked. Caboose, who was one of the people initially thinking that we could only use specific points, actually tweeted out, I've never been happier to be wrong as I was informed yesterday that you can slingshot wherever you want in Spider-Man 2 PS5. It's just the dedicated slingshot areas on certain rooftops are for a stronger slingshot. Insomniac Games really thought of everything. So we will have the regular web swingshot 
but additionally the large poles will be used for a super slingshot when you need to travel even farther and faster across the map another detail i've come to notice in the footage floating around i'll count this as an additional mechanic because it enhances the web swinging there seems to be a large increase in the potential anchor points for web swinging in marvel spider-man 2. with the map being expanded to brooklyn and queens they had to think about how they could include more structures for our webs to attach to and based on this clip right here it looks like it is possible for your web line to even attach to helicopters now takes you back to those days on the spider-man 2 movie tying game doesn't it next thing i want to go over with you is how they've included the option to raise the stakes while swinging it's been confirmed by those who have dropped early first impressions and in interviews that there is a gameplay setting to turn on fall damage now so for those people who maybe want to pick more of a challenge and really master the swinging in this game they can toggle this feature on and for those who want an entirely uninterrupted experience can choose to keep it toggled off lastly with the swinging we've got the addition of new air tricks for peter the end result makes peter have a little more style in his tricks similar to miles and people have been saying he looks much cooler now one standout trick that has been mentioned is one where he takes a rubik's cube out and solves it while falling this is kind of similar to Miles' air trick where he pulls out his phone and starts texting. It has sounded like, unfortunately, Miles has not received any new air tricks in the build that was available for the preview event, but I've still got my fingers crossed that the final version of the game will surprise us. Now I'm gonna finish this off by tossing in some quick hit honorable mentions and things that are still up in the air to close us out. I think we're at about number 14. We're gonna talk about wall crawling. Wall crawling speed has been increased, which is cool. That's just an ask that some folks have had because it's been expressed that the wall crawling feels a little wonky in the previous Insomniac titles. Next up, we don't know whether or not there has been any updates to the parkour mechanics or if they will operate the same as the previous games. If this isn't included, it's fine, but boy, if it is, it's just another opportunity to make movement all the more stylish in Marvel Spider-Man 2. And last but not least, we haven't seen if there have been any updates or speed increases to the wall running, which I don't think is too big of a deal, but if wall crawling has had a boost in speed, I would assume wall running has had one as well. So there you go, everyone. Those are 12 plus updates and additions to the traversal gameplay in Marvel Spider-Man 2 and over 15 in total that I think we discussed in general for this video. Again, this wasn't the final build of the game, so there could be things Insomniac is still adding at this very moment, and I'm sure there were more skills and features that were locked off from those who have already been able to play the game as well. If you want to get caught on some updates in regards to Marvel's Wolverine, be sure to click the card on the screen and check out my recent upload where I talk about how Insomniac has recently started moving more developers over onto that project as we get closer to Marvel Spider-Man 2's release. As always, thanks a ton for watching this far. Be sure to leave a like if you haven't already and subscribe to the channel to stick around for future videos as well. My name is Jay Frigian and I will catch you in the next one. Peace out.